Alright guys, just thought I'd make a quick video showing how to program your uh, Blade Nano, I mean not Nano, Blade MCPX Brushless. I think it's the newest model uh, on a Spectrum DX7. This would also apply to DX8 or possibly DX6i, which the menus could be a little different on the DX6i. Servo setup, um, just leave all your travel distances at 100% on both sides of the travel. Dual rates and expo. Um, one thing I wanted to point out here is this MCPX is extremely sensitive. Um, much more so than the Nano or my T-Rex 450 that I used to fly quite a bit. It's just very sensitive. So with the switch in zero position for both aileron and elevator, which would be off. Um, leave the dual rates at 100 on all these, but take the Expo up to about 65. Especially if you're you're newer or you haven't flown in a while, and you know I haven't flown in a few weeks, and I think maybe my fingers got dumb. But uh, 65 worked pretty well for the Expo. Um, what that does is it decreases the sensitivity toward the middle of the stick on the aileron so it helps out quite a bit if your fingers have unlearned anything or if you're new or really it for any circumstance with this heli because it seems extra sensitive um, for elevator go ahead and put the expo on 65 for rudder you can just leave it dual rate 100 expo 0 that's fine uh, alright let's get out of here throttle cut. Go ahead and enable this. Put the switch on to hold uh, in position. I just like to use negative 30 because it just ensures that my throttle is being cut. You don't have to. You can leave it at zero. Whatever you want. Throttle curve. Alright, here's what I found works pretty well. For normal mode, um, of course the low position would be zero. 25% uh, stick would be 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. So you can do it like that, it works pretty well for normal mode. Um, for idle 1, what I liked on this heli was 100, 95, 90, 95, 100. You can do a straight 100 across the board, that's fine. You can do a straight 95 across the board, you can even do a straight 90 across the board with this and still do 3D because it's got so much power. Um, if you're a little newer, go with like a 90 across the board or this setup here. It works just fine. And for hold, of course, you want zero all the way down. Alright, for pitch curve, normal mode. Uh, put uh, Go with 50, 50, 50, 75, 100. So basically what this means if you're at half stick or lower, your pitch should be roughly zero. And then when you switch into your stunt mode, if you're at, you know, three quarter stick is where you would be hovering roughly. So when you switch to stunt mode, uh, nothing changes there at either halfway point or the stunt mode point. That's why you could bump up the 50% um, point, you know, like... 60%, you could do 60, 60, 60, or 50, 60, 60, 75, 100. Might make it a little easier to fly in normal mode. So give that a try if this one's a little too sensitive and it wants to shoot toward the ground too easy. Um, for idle up mode or stunt mode, go ahead and do the linear curve 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. And for hold, I leave it on my stunt curve. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, and that's because if I'm inverted or something and I pull throttle hold because I'm in trouble, it's not going to just... I can still have my negative pitch, so I can try to save it as much as I can. Like, I won't be uh, hitting throttle hold and all of a sudden I'm shooting straight down on the ground if I'm upside down because... Well, because then I'd have positive pitch and I'm upside down. That would be a big problem. So, trust me on that one. 
uh, tail curve, governor, gyro, you don't need to mess with any of these. Mixing, don't mess with that. Unless you want to, unless you find something you want to mix. Um, that's about, well, timer. I'm sure you're familiar with the timer, you can do whatever you want with this setting, but um, I just put it on mode countdown. I got it for 3 minutes 30 seconds saying I'm doing stunt. I've already tested this, that the MCPX um, brushless can fly for at least 5 minutes What if you're just hovering and practicing uh, in normal mode. So, I like tone and vibration because a lot of times you can't hear the tone if it's too close to you. Um, go, put it on throttle out, which is what I like, and then position 20%. So, as soon as you move this stick up a little bit. You can hear it activate, so that'll start your timer. And also, stunt mode will act start your timer right away, too. Um, and that would be it for this model. Thank you for watching. Um, feel free to post any comments that you'd like, any suggestions, any uh, if you think there's any improvements that could be made to this programming. It seems to work really well for me, this this setup here. Um, again, my fingers got a little dumb over the last few weeks, so it felt kind of, it felt maybe a little extra sensitive, so that's why the Expos are at 65. But you can, you know, if you move those down to 30, 30 would, 30 is kind of doable. Um, I definitely wouldn't put them at zero, and I don't like to lower my dual rates because then I mess with my swash movement and I just don't like to do that. So decreasing the sensitivity toward the middle of the stick with the Expo is ideal. Um, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you like the videos. Hopefully they're fairly informative. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon.